Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is a Google Earth Planet Trip Part 2. Download Google Earth if you haven't already done it. Search for your target city. I went for Damascus earlier, but there were no photos there. Um, I also went to Google Earth Hacks, which is not affiliated in any way with Google, blah, blah, blah. And I also went to Panoramio, which is right here, 3D view, planet, planet view of the planet. Um, very cool. Download and then uh, click on Panorama KML feed. When you've done that, when you've done that, you will be able to see uh, Panorama images. Now, I also have Flickr turned on right here, um, but Flickr doesn't work in the UAE, so I can turn I can turn that off and I can turn that off because it won't work. Um, but because Panorama is trying to get your clicks to go to their advertisement. When you click on one of their links, you click on it and it takes you to their website so you get their advertising links. Uh, there it is, but it also shows you on the map where it is and on a bigger map where it is, which is very nice. But let's go back to Damascus, which is where I wanted to go, and click on that and it zooms out and you can see um, I've got the terrain. I'll turn the terrain back on and National Geographic and some images, but there are no pictures of there are no pictures of Damascus yet. Um, let's turn on lodging, see if anything shows up. No, let's go back to well, we'll leave that, and we'll kind of dig around a little bit because when I dove in last time, there were a bunch of images, a bunch of things that showed up. Um, in and around the t in and around the town. So Google Earth community ranked. Okay, Baramka, Damascus City Center. So we can get a better idea as to where things are when you, before you land. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of stuff. Um, and hold down the shift key or control key, and you can zoom in. Ancient city of Damascus. And here is the old town of Damascus. There's no pictures. Um, Panoramio, let's turn that back on. Nothing there. Uh, I'm holding down the control key and rolling with my mouse now. Um, traffic looks pretty intense around there. But I would say that if I was going to stay in Damascus, this might be a good place. You can see, got a sports center. Not very interesting. And in, no, I'm not very interested in that. But you have something here. Looks like a major city center. This is the city center. Uh, there's a big old plaza right there. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of information. You can see this looks like a very old town, very low. Let's just see if we can zoom down a little bit. Unfortunately, the terrain doesn't match the city, you know, the height of the buildings. Uh, but we can zoom around a little bit and see some other things that might be of interest. Uh, Damascus Hospital. Zoom around, Damascus Hospital. Uh, Google Earth new place mark, Aramka. Don't know what that is. Um, so, anyway, that's a nice way to kind of get your feet wet in a town before you go um, and maybe help you out in terms of getting your bearings. Uh, there's no maps, there's no streets named here. Tell this is a pretty tall building. Um, looks like some sort of major road project going on here. A uh, tunnel of some kind. Uh, yeah, maybe a train tunnel. Hard to tell. Uh, looks like the roads are pretty made, uh, pretty well maintained. You get some crazy roundabouts in here. That looks like a big mosque. Um, and you can do all of this again through the keyboard by zooming around. Now I found this place. I'm going to email it to my favorite friends. Uh, use Gmail, and I'll go ahead and just send it to myself, UASD, computer class at gmail.com. So when I'm planning my trip, I can just go ahead and send uh, information along with, the, um, with it as well. So I'll do that again. Save to my places. <clears throat> You'll see that it gets added in here, I hope. Oh, yeah, my places right there. And click on that. Hermenato, it's a fr in French, but that's fine. Um, and I can also 
email this one, email, and again, I'll send it to my favorite friend. I don't like this about uh, this interface. It doesn't remember the last email that I sent or any emails that are actually loaded. Uh, but there it is, you is computer class, send it. And now uh, I've saved it to my places. And again, uh, very nice. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of photos for um, Damascus, but we could go to some place that's well photographed, like Paris. And zoom us out. And I'll give you a sample of what those pictures look like that I was telling you about earlier. And because I have, um, I have my panoramia turned on, it should load. You can see all of the lodging. Turn the lodging off. Um, and we'll zoom in a little bit. And I should be getting some images here in a moment. Surprisingly, there's not more images for Paris. Turn that off. I should get an icon for Paris. Maybe not. Well, you can see how well Paris is mapped out. Let's go to uh, Barcelona. Because I know there were. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now there are my images from um, Panorimio. Again, it doesn't show you the image. You have to click on it, and it takes you. When you click on the image, it will take you to the image on the web page where you will get to see Panoramio's advertisement. Uh, you can see the metro station at the Louvre. Been there many a time. It makes me want to cry to see it. So, uh, that's uh, my quick rundown of how to use Google to plan your trip. I hope. Um, I hope this has been useful for you. Turn on your Panoramio feed if you're in a place where Flickr is supported or accessible. Turn it on as well. And you can get all that from Panoramio right there as well as Flickr. So thanks very much for watching and, well, happy traveling and happy computing.